I'll go get a rag to wipe you down with that. He first told us about the car about a year ago. This is overboard. Yeah, in a big way. Kevin Graham. It's been a project in our family for, what is that, 33 years now? He is Scott Kennewell's friend. How's it look? Where's the muffler? Scott has been restoring this car for... We've worked on it off and on for 25, 30 years. For one heck of a long time, but his friends... This will be my first time, too. I mean, I've never seen one either. Well, they've never seen it. Until today, we're all going to see it for the first time and possibly the last time. I mean, it's just, it's one of those things that's so strange that you have to ask. Because this is one weird car. And if it sinks, we don't know how we're going to get it out. It's a car that rides oh. in the water. Cool. It's uh, it's, about them. It, have you ever seen one in person? No. After 30 years of work, Scott is going to drive his car into Lake Wiley. How long has it been since it's been in the water? Almost 30 years, and the last time it was in the water, it sank. Oh. <laughs> That's right. The last time Scott drove it into a lake, and this is a photo of a teenage Scott doing just that, it sank right to the bottom. It's called an Amphicar. About 4,000 were made in Germany in the early 1960s. There are just a couple hundred left. They're very rare. Because the rest, well, they're probably underwater somewhere. My dad bought this in a junkyard in 1971 for $40. If this thing Three. floats today, it's now Three. worth $40,000. I think it's going to be fine. I have confidence. Scott is full of confidence, though he admits he's nervous. I, I, I didn't sleep that well. Not having slept or eaten recently. I haven't had a thing. Not a thing. I'm starving. His friends are brimming with confidence, too. If, if it's going to sink, it's not my car. Even Scott's daughter, Lindsay, tells me she loves her dad but she's not getting in that thing. If you want to really show your faith in your father, you get in the car for the first run into the water. I don't trust him that much. <laughs> so I decide to go with him. I need you to hold these for me just in case. Tell my mom I love her. I hug my son just in case. And Scott gets the Amphicar ready while I check out the features. Oh, thank goodness they have little uh, side vents. And now the moment of truth. We will literally sink or float. I have fear. I definitely have some. We'll know in the first 30 seconds. I don't know if I could put that kind of money into a car and then drive it into a lake. Well, that's not really that normal, is it? Let's go surfing now. Everybody's learning how. Come on a safari with me. This is one weird feeling. Let's go surfing now. Everybody's learning how. Come on a safari with me. Once the Amphicar proved seaworthy, we took on passengers. Oh, no. And everywhere we went, people wanted a picture. Cheese! The way this thing works, it's part boat powered by propellers and part car. Now you're actually steering with the front tires. Yeah. Here's something you really shouldn't try on the road. Hey, Brad. He's going to drive it. And once in the driver's seat, I'm so excited, I have to call one of my brothers and tell him. <laughs> and I just had to call you and tell you I'm driving a car on the lake. But I don't think what I said made sense to my brother. And when it did, a minute later, he called me back. Hey, bro. To make sure I wasn't drunk or something. There you go. At one point, we drove it out of the water, and these fishermen didn't notice at first. How do you like that? Mostly people just stared and waved, and everything, everything was going great. And then the cops showed up. Hi, officer. What seems to be the problem? <laughs> the Amphicar is only 47 horsepower, so we're not going to outrun anyone. And thankfully, Officer Gilligan saw fit to let us off with a warning. OK. I appreciate it. Thanks. After three decades, this family project has finally come full circle. It's too bad Scott's dad in Arizona couldn't see this moment. That, that first moment we went in, the heart skipped a beat just for a second. Your dad will be very proud. Of you. Yeah, he will. It was an absolutely perfect day. It, it couldn't have gone any better, I don't think. Except for the, the sheriff's patrol, but... Uh... <laughs> well, almost perfect.
I couldn't decide which was better, driving a car on the lake or watching people when they realized, hey, that's a car. See, I've seen a bear hit a baseball and a monkey in a jug, but I ain't never seen a car come out of Lake Wiley. <laughs> this is a car actually riding on the water. Yes, it is. Amphicar. 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 Amphic